Okay, hello guys. Uh, today I'm gonna show you uh, the most uh, common problem uh, on desktop PC, maybe, or maybe on laptop as well. Uh, but uh, today uh, I have the same problem. My PC turns on, and after some seconds, it actually turns off. So I show you now what kind of problem I have. So if you plug it in and if we start, as you can see here, all fans are starting, but then it actually stops. <laughs> so uh, I looked uh, into the internet uh, on the Google, but uh, couldn't find any solutions for this uh, problem. So most of the common um, problems uh, and solutions you can find is uh, that if you will go into call in you know, call in motherboard center and ask them for help they will ask you actually to um, reset the CMOS so to reset the CMOS you need to remove uh, the battery here that battery you need to remove that and after 30 seconds you need to um, put it back so uh, to remove this battery is pretty simple thing what you need to do is get some kind of don't know skizzards maybe like this and try to actually pull there is some kind of switch and it will come out so don't, don't force it too much so as you can see the battery is here maybe the case is that your battery is already dead or maybe before you change it uh, let's uh, follow these simple steps so here we get the battery and uh, let's wait 30 seconds actually to see if that works and if my PC will work again so I have also some kind of rims as you can see here uh, installed so maybe one of them is dead uh, or we will take a uh, talk on that a bit later so okay let's now put it back um, it's simple so we put one of the sides and then just push it and as they go it's now in okay now let's try again let's plug this sheet again and let's see so it doesn't help another okay so another uh, thing uh, may cause this kind of problems is that um, you can also have the loose cable somewhere uh, like um, make sure that all the cables are in right place like this like this um, and also the next problem uh, the next thing I mean can cause this problem is uh, the RAM so the RAM may cause this problem uh, because um, maybe the RAM is dead or uh, RAM slot is dead so I have now this Kingston 2 gigabit RAM right here uh, and it, I don't think that this RAM is dead but uh, let's try to put it in different slot maybe this slot is dead so now let's see pull it gently from one side then second one you should hear some noises um, then let's plug this cable back let's try again oops I plugged the wrong cable sorry so okay so let's try again okay still does not help now let's try in another spot again
Let's try now. So as you can see it worked. So make sure you <laughs> like um, swap the RAMs and uh, it will actually work maybe because the RAM was uh, dead or RAM slot was uh, dead. <laughs> so yes. Um, make sure also the one of the common problems is that uh, your uh, cooler may be the problem you know because uh, sometimes like uh, most of the like 20 percent of the times uh, it uh, stops the PC because the processor actually CPU can't uh, be cooled enough so the system actually has a defensive program which stops your PC uh, because uh, if it does not do that uh, your PC may be overheated and uh, don't know just burn I mean so yes right now it's working perfectly every fan, uh, fans are working everything is working now as you can see for sure I don't have plugged in my CD-ROM um, also your PCU can be problem here power supply uh, so make sure you test it as well. I don't know. I have a second power supply, so it's a Spire right now here. So I tried it as well, but it does not have any difference. So make sure that first of all your PCU, your uh, don't know hard drive may cause that as well. But most of the problems is that um, RAM causes this. So make sure first you reset your CMOS battery. And if you have installed the graphics card, the graphics card may cause this problem as well. So, if you have any questions, maybe you want to, if you still can't solve your problem, uh, comment and I'll try to help. So, yeah, that was the lesson. So, hope it will help you at some point.